Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil. So Laravel 8 has been released. So in this video, we will learn that how we can update the Laravel 7 to 8. And we will learn some more things like why we need to update the frameworks and what if we just get some errors during the update. And I will also ask you a very important interview question, which is uh, most of the time asked by the uh, interviewer also also right so now let's get started with that first of all the points that we have to do in this uh, during this updation first of all just keep in mind that your php version should be 7.3 or greater than it so i'm just going to check my php version so now let's uh, just open the command line and just put here php minus v so here you can see that my php version is 7.4.4 if your php version is less than 7.3 then you have to upgrade it if you are using the zamp or vamp then just update the zamp and vamp also right or reinstall the latest version then we need to uh, uh these some uh, more updates inside our package.json we have to update the laravel version from 7 to update collision version gazelle and ignition also right so i'm just going to install the laravel 7 then uh, we will see that how we can update it right so now let's go to the dashboard then I have a folder name with the 8 and just put here uh, installation command laravel new uh, and my project name is let's say blog right and just hit it so now it will we can see that this is just going to start in installation the laravel 7 within that time let's discuss some important question that why we need to update the laravel right because in the every latest version we got some uh, important updates like uh, bug fixes and uh, some new features uh, now you can just guess that uh, in the laravel 8 we just get the module folder then uh, we got the jet stream uh, ui framework request limit limits and dynamic components also so these are the very important feature that will just help you in the uh, make, making the better project approach and uh, do more more work with the less coding kind of things right so this is that why we need that so what if uh, we just update our framework and our code actually just uh, stop working so our some functions are actually not working then what we need to do so that time we have the two options one if we just want a very quick function uh, uh, quick fix and uh, because we don't have the time then just uh, make it downgrade your version 8 to 7 once again right so for that you can just make a copy of your package.json and just put it again right and uh, if you just want to you have the lots of time then you can just uh, update the functions that actually break your functionality right so but th there is a very less chances that you just update the laravel version and uh, they are actually just break your functionality right until you are not just going to a uh, major jump like you are just updating the laravel 7 uh, from laravel 4 or you are just updating the Lar laravel 5 uh, to the laravel 8 directly right so that kind of uh, major jump can be impacted but only one step ahead never gonna update like 7 to 8 or 6 to 7 these kind of things right so the second thing is that one more thing that i just want to tell you uh, so can we just uh, simply downgrade the version also so let's say we just want to uh, uh, downgrade the version 8 to 6 yes this is pretty possible but this is not uh, a good approach that we just uh, go for the downgrade because uh, laravel every year update uh, making the two major updates two version updates that's why we should be always use the latest version right so now you can see that our laravel application is uh, installed so just go for the blog folder and just open it in the code editor so i just recommend you that you can use the visual studio code even you can use the any editor but visual studio is uh, recommended by, by me if you just want to use so now let's open the uh, composer.json file and uh, here you can see that uh, laravel 7.24 is here and php uh, 7.2 is there and some gazelle versions that we need to update these are things like so first of all now let's uh, try to run it php artisan serve and then 
uh, we will just update these uh, package like Gazelle framework and ignition and all so that we can just completely up update it from 7 to 8 right so now let's uh, open your local host and the 8000 port so this is working fine that's great so now let's update some uh, packages so which is uh, okay so how do i know that what package i need to update for that uh, you can just go on the official documentation here you can see that we have to update the laravel package to the 8 collision uh, then gazelle and then ignition right so now let's make it here first of all let's update the php where is the php mentioned they here they are mentioned php here right so now let's just simply put here 7.3 then uh, for the framework you can just simply put here 8.0 for the castle you can use the 7.0.1 right and uh, after that uh, we can just update the ignition so just put here 2.3.6 right so what how many packages we updated here so first of all we update the php 1 castles 2 and uh, php uh, laravel framework 3 then ignition 4 and collision 5 okay so we did not update the collision yet so just put here 5.0 here that's great now we need to run a one command which is uh, composer update and let's hit it with this command it will just uh, add the latest package that we just mentioned here with version in the vendor folder right so now let's just wait, wait for a while so laravel is updated, updated successfully and here you can see that package manifest generated successfully and everything is here right and these are the packages that are actually updated right so now just run here php artisan serve and if this is running successfully that means we are update the laravel package successfully and now you can see that this is working great that means we are updated the package right so thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel because i am just going to make around 100 video on the upcoming time in the laravel like uh, how we can install the basic concept advanced concept how we can make the apis how we can make the authentications and uh, we will just make a e-commerce project also as well as i will just ask a interview question in every video right so that uh, you even with every video if you just ask the interview question you are uh, almost all questions are already prepared right before just uh, uh, starting with the before ending with complete series right so please subscribe my channel and like this video